today we will discuss that features of modern periodic table see that one class 10 topic that icsc board what is the learning objective now, to understand that features of modern periodic table and to explain the position of element in modern periodic table what are the keyword the position of element electronic configuration these are the keyword first we have to discuss see that earlier works first one see that Dobinier, Dobinier law of triad. Now, why triad? Because it is a group of three element. For example, see lithium, sodium, potassium. Now, lithium atomic weight that one 7, potassium 39, sodium 23. Now, according to that law, now if that atom arrange according to their that increasing atomic weight, the atomic weight of middle element is arithmetic mean of that first and third element it is the arithmetic mean of first and third element see 7 plus 39 by 2 see you will get 23 so it is a group of tire that is according to Dobinia. now what is the main limitation now it is not applicable for all the element present in that periodic table next one see that newland law of octave now according to this see why octave now it is a group of eight element now that time that noble gas is not there okay so hydrogen then lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine sodium now see if we start from that hydrogen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, according to Newland, if we arrange that element according to increasing atomic weight, now eighth element that will repeat the property of first one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eighth element will repeat the property of that first one. Now, third one that Mendeleev. Now, Mendeleev periodic table based on that Mendeleev periodic law. What is the Mendeley periodic law? Now, physical and chemical property of element is periodic function of their atomic weight. And so, according to Mendeley, see total that eight group one to eight. Now, one to eight up to that one to seven, there are two subgroup one a one b in that way up to seven. And in eight also, that each position contains three element. Actually, in group eight there is three tired iron cobalt nickel then ruthenium rhodium palladium osmium iridium platinum three tires are present in that group eight in that mendeley periodic table now mostly that classification that based on that modern periodic law what is modern periodic law now physical and chemical property of element is periodic function of their atomic number now that modern periodic table based on that modern periodic law today mainly we will discuss that modern periodic law now what are the different features of modern periodic table now total seven horizontal row these are called period eight vertical column these are called group now in each group c contain element with same outer electronic configuration that means valence electronic configuration of all the element present in a particular group is same that's why they have similar chemical property now in period c that is general discussion okay in next that uh, video we will uh, describe that all that different period and that group okay now on moving from left to right what happened that there is a gradual change in the property because due to the increase in atomic number along the period left to right there is a gradual change in property why due to that increase in atomic number now next important topic see that bridging element now bridging element see now that bridging element that one period 2 and period 3 diagonal situated element of that period 2 and period 3 for example see lithium beryllium boron carbon now in 3C that one sodium, beryllium that one magnesium 
boron that one aluminium carbon that one silicon now see that diagonally situated element they have similar chemical that means lithium magnesium one pair beryllium aluminium another one pair boron silicon another one pair these two element called that bridge element okay now that property trend in that periodic uh, that in period na similarity what is the similarity the number of cell all the element in a particular period having same number of cell actually see period indicate the number of cell okay and transition that uh, change in the valence electron change in their valence electron as we move uh, from left to right number of valence electron increases and non metallic character that also increases periodic property separately we will discuss okay that is just general discussion now group now total 18 groups a group 1 alkali metal okay group 1 these are called that alkali metal that hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium group 1 try to remember in that way okay group 1 hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium now group 2 see that beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium no need to remember that trans, uh, that uh, radioactive element okay only stable element try to remember group 2 now group 3 to 12 see transition element okay group 3 to 12 that transition all that iron cobalt nickel all these are transition element now why they are transition now in between metal and their position in between metal and non metal now group 13 to 16 see that post transition element okay now in group 13 see that boron group boron aluminum gallium indium thallium now 14 see carbon group carbon silicon germanium tin lead then uh, that 15 that nitrogen group nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth now that group 16 that chalcogen group 16 chalcogen now chalcogen that means that ore forming oxygen sulfur selenium terulium fluorineum now what is why it is ore forming and most of the ore see either oxide or that sulfide okay that's why it is called chalcogen now 17 halogen it derives from that halus sea salt most of the halogen we derive from that sea salt fluorine chlorine bromine iodine now group 18 noble gas inert gas helium neon argon krypton xenon now in a transition element see that lanthanide and actinides okay in a transition lanthanide and actinides next is that comparison between that alkali metal and halogen very important for your board exam that comparison between alkali metal and halogen alkali metal highly electropositive halogen highly electronegative now alkali metal see it from uh, its charge plus 1 halogen its charge that minus 1 now alkali metal it combine with that non metal uh, to form the different salt see sodium reacts with that chlorine to form that kcl okay uh, sodium reacts with chlorine to form that nacl okay now alkali metal uh, that low ionization potential halogen high electronegativity so these are the some basic difference between that alkali metal and halogen now see few question and so all these are board question okay all these are board question if you go through previous year question you will get this say first one see alkali metal in period 2 and halogen in period name the following try to practice this type of question okay very important for your board exam now alkali metal in period 2 it is lithium alkali metal in period 2 lithium now halogen in period 3 that one chlorine now so in that case that alkali metal that will be lithium and that halogen in period 3 that will be chlorine now non metal in period 3 now see phosphorus sulfur chlorine non metal in that period bond form between chlorine and that in group 1 that will be ionic bond or electrovalent bond because between metal and non metal it is always ionic now most electronegative in group 17 it is fluorine name the pair of elements so bridging relations any one you can write now see i want to see lithium and magnesium just to discuss few just you have to write one of the pair okay so lithium magnesium 
next that is also a previous year question say atomic number and that uh, description is given you have to relate with that atomic number a solid non metal belonging to that third period solid non metal ok so say solid non metal so that will be 15 group 15 that phosphorus ok solid non metal a metal of valency 1 valency 1 say 19 potassium ok now here the right atomic number in most of the uh, copy we get that write the exact name of the element and if you write the exact name of the you only got 0 ok in board paper also we see this type of mistake. So write atomic number not that element ok exact element. Now gaseous element with valency 2 gaseous element with valency 2 8 see that one oxygen ok element belonging to group 2 4 that is beryllium and rear gas see 2 right atomic number ok again I am telling do not write the exact element ok in most of the copy you do that. Thank you for watching if you are new in the channel please subscribe my channel please like share and comment on the videos please subscribe my channel to get more chemistry related video.